Hi 2D, we're here to read The Curious Garden by Peter Brown. For my curious grandmother, Petey. Peter Brown, the, the Curious Garden. There once was a city without gardens or trees or greenery of any kind. Most people spent their time indoors. As you can imagine, it was a very dreary place. However, there was one boy who loved being outside. Even on drizzle, drizzly days, while everybody else stayed inside, he could always find, you could always find Liam happily splashing through his neighborhood. It was on one, of su one such morning that Liam made several surprising discoveries. He was wandering around the old railway, as he did from time to time, when he stumbled upon a dark stairwell leading up to the track. The railway had stopped working ages ago, and since Liam had always wanted to explore the tracks, there was only one thing for the curious boy to do. Liam ran up the stairs, pushed open the door, and stepped out onto the railway. The first thing he saw was a lonely patch of color. Wildflowers and plants were the last thing he had expected to find up there, but when he took a closer look, it became clear that the plants were dying. They needed a gardener. Liam may not have been a gardener, but he knew that he could help. So he returned to the railway the, the very next day and got to work. The flowers nearly drowned and he had a few pruning problems, but the plants were patiently but the plants patiently waited while Liam found a better way of gardening. As the weeks rolled by, Liam began to feel like a real gardener, and the plants began to feel like a real garden. Most gardens say stay in one place, but this was no ordinary, ordinary garden. With miles of open railway ahead of it, the garden was growing restless. It wanted to explore. The tough little weeds and mosses were the first to move. They popped up farther and farther down the tracks and were closely followed by the more delicate plants. Over the next few months, Liam and the Curious Garden explored every corner of the railway. After spending his spring and summer and autumn with the garden, Liam's time on the railway was finally interrupted by winter. Heavy blankets of snow fell on the city that season, and for the first time since he'd become a gardener, Liam could not visit the plants. Rather than waste his winter worrying about the garden, Liam spent it preparing for spring. After three cold months, the snow finally began to melt, and Liam rolled his new gardening gear over to the railway. Winter had taken a toll on the garden, but thanks to Liam's planning, his handy tools, and a little help from the sun, the plants soon awoke from their winter sleep. The garden had always wanted to explore the rest of the city, and that spring it was finally ready to make its move. Once again, the tough little weeds and mosses set out first. They popped up farther and farther from the railway and were, and were closely followed by the more delicate plants. The garden was especially curious about old forgotten things. A few plants popped up where they didn't belong. Others mysteriously popped up all at once.
the most surprising things that pop thing that popped up were the new gardeners. Many years later, the entire city had blossomed, but of all the new gardens, Liam's favorite was where it all began. And this is the last picture. Should we show the first picture again so they can see the difference? So that's the last picture. It's the same picture as this one, but, but now, much brighter. Yeah. Yes. That's the end. Thank you, 2D.